Thank you for joining me. This is Katie Whitledge with the Beyond the Technique podcast. Hey, everybody. I'm so excited. We have a returning guest today. We are going to be talking about reopening strategies using your salon technology. We have Ronan Perceval here today. I struggle with last names sometimes, but y'all know Ronan. He is the founder and CEO of Forest Salon Software. You may remember him. We had him on in 2019, one of our top performing episodes ever, and it was called How to Attract and Retain the Highest Spending Clients. That was episode 240. If you go to Beyond the Technique and click on our podcast, type in 240 to the search, you're going to find their episode. You can listen to it right there and get connected with Forest Salon Software. Before I bring Ronan back to the mic, let me give a shout out here to our sponsor, Friends of Forest, meet your stylist. If you're a salon owner with a team of five or more stylists, one of your biggest burdens is making sure, how do I get clients in the chairs of my stylist? How do I help them become busy with the right people who will actually come back over and over and over again? It's every salon owner's burden and meet your stylist is your solution. Meet Your Styles is a fun, easy, accurate matchmaking survey that will convert your website visitors into lifetime clients. This goes beyond just matching people up with your stylist who do great haircuts. This goes deeper into who people are. Remember, we don't get a second chance to make that first impression, so it's so important that we connect guests with the stylists that are right for them the very first time. You can become a Meet Your Stylist partner. Go to meetyourstylist.com and get your salon signed up today. Meetyourstylist.com. All righty, everybody. I'm so happy to have Ronan back. He's joining me from Ireland. As I mentioned, he is the founder and CEO of Forest Salon Software. He is doing so much to make sure that when we reopen, and for a lot of us, we are reopen, um, but strategies using your salon technology that will help you become successful and help you mitigate risk in a lot of touching and how do we do all these things to make sure that we are still delivering amazing experiences, but technology can be this powerful tool that help us do that. So without further ado, help me welcome Ronan back to Beyond the Technique. Welcome, Ronan. Hi, Katie. Great to be back. I wish it was in better times, but uh, sure. What what the hell? Anyway, we have to we have to face what's in front of us and deal with whatever life throws at us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Our generation may not have experienced what our grandparents or great grandparent mm. generation have faced, and now we're in something that's very challenging. How has this been for you in Europe? Um. Yeah, so just just to kind of uh, just to synopsize that for anyone who hasn't heard the uh, that episode, so we we uh, do a salon software and marketing technology for salons across the world, and um, so we have a base in in the U.S. down in Philadelphia, and uh, we serve about fifteen hundred salons in, in the U.S. and Canada, and then but we have another five or six thousand salons in Europe, and uh, where we started, uh, and particularly here in in Ireland and Dublin, where where I'm based right now. And uh, so we are seeing very different uh, scenarios play across all our different countries that we're in. Some of the countries like Germany are are open for business since Monday. Austria are open for business since last week. Uh, that's really interesting. We've got um, but somewhere like Ireland, which actually we were told on Friday, um, so this mightn't be airing till June, but we were told sort of at the beginning of May that uh, we're going to be sh- salons are going to be shut till the 20th of July, which will be almost five months from when they shut down first, which is crazy. Wow. Uh, and you can imagine there is absolute uproar, not even just from the salon owners who are obviously absolutely petrified about losing their businesses for being closed so long, but actually from customers. It's the highest uh, trending topic on Google in the last week is when will hairdressers reopen? Uh, I don't know if you knew that. That's actually not just in Ireland, but everywhere around the world. It's the number one question on Google at the moment. When will hairdressers open? So um, that's, you know, people want these services and they're not going to get them in a salon. They're going to go and get somebody to come to their house to do it. And if that happens, um, there'll be no regulation at all. And that could be a lot worse from a health point of view. So I think that's why uh, a lot of European countries have 
move to open salons in a sort of safe way early. Um, but some countries haven't done that. And uh, so, uh, yeah, it's interesting times. Incredible five months that I can't even imagine. Yeah. Uh, wow. Well, and for those of you who are wondering, who is this Ronin? I want to see him. I want to put a face with a name. The good news is you can watch today's raw, unedited version of our podcast in video format on YouTube. So go to Beyond the Techniques YouTube page. You'll actually see both of us. And it looks like you're waiting for your salons to open. Yes, we're both waiting, Ronan. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, for myself, yeah, I know my hair is, uh, <laughs> it's going long. I think uh, I'm going to have a really huge long beard and long hair by the end of this, the way things are going. But uh, I said good. I wouldn't cut it until... <laughs> Until I have to do it with my hairdresser. So I'm going to wait till that happens. Well, if people are watching, I'm with you. And I'm definitely experiencing that um, Irish grow out. Then you can really see my natural roots here. But we're doing it for the team, the greater good, right? Mm. We're, we're sacrificing our looks for the greater good. Oh, my gosh. Well, how do we, in, in a time that feels so insecure, how yeah. do we get fired up about reopening and specifically the tools we have to help us run a really great business in the midst of yeah. feeling a bit insecure about things. So, well, uh, there's two things I'm gonna, I can talk about. So one is reopening. So we have about a thousand salons using Forest right now that are open and are following guidelines from their governments. Uh, most of the guide, guidelines are pretty, pretty similar, even in like uh, Georgia and Texas. Uh, which opened early, obviously, in the US and then in Germany uh, and then there's places like Denmark. They are following pretty pretty much the same guidelines, which you, you would expect. And I can go through those and just talk about what, what the salons uh, can use technology to help them do that. Um, and then on the other side, too, as well, another big thing that we're doing is obviously helping salons make money while they are shut. So that's something that I think... Uh, uh, you know, some salon owners might not be aware that they, you know, there are ways to generate revenue. E-commerce is obviously a massive one. Online gift vouchers, another um, sending out sort of uh, care packs to, to customers as well. So there's a bunch of things like that that you can do as well. I can talk about that a little bit. Um, well, you yeah, know, let's just talk in case about... there people still closed when we when we when this podcast airs. Let's talk about virtual sales because, you know, definitely when we go to reopen, if we're not reopening at full capacity, we're going to want to maintain those virtual avenues of yeah, revenue no absolutely. matter what. So let's start there. Yeah. So that's, that's, yeah. So if we start there, cause that's where we're at right now. So basically, um, online gift cards is one thing, but that, you know, people, you know, you can only sell a, a gift card really to one person once and then, you know, and then you have to, they have to have a chance to use it at some point, but with e-commerce and selling products, obviously that's something that is an ongoing revenue stream for um, not just that could be done multiple times if you're closed for a long time now, but also, as you say, uh, salons are going to be operating at maybe 50, 70% capacity. So their revenues are going to be down 30% um, and they'll need to make that up some other way. And so using this time now to become an e-commerce company basically is what we want all salons to do is start, you know, reinvent yourself as an e-commerce company now, and then you have that for the future. So um, our big thing with e-commerce is, um, so there's e-commerce, which you may be doing yourself, which is like, uh, you know, using something like Sal Interactive or something where you're, you know, you've got a, <clears throat> you've got an online shop and we work with those guys as well and uh, to help, and they, they provide drop shipping from different distributors and things like that. So there's like having a shop. Um, and then the with thing products, that's kind of more- Now we're saying that's the product side. That's the product side. And then, well, then, so the bit what we're seeing, we're seeing a lot more product sales through something where you're reaching out directly to the customers who've bought products before from your salon uh, with a link to rebuy that product. We're seeing way more traction on that than just the shop because the shop is just another shop that the customer has to find that shop, right? Um, but you, you know, most salons, well, at least the ones using Forest and you know, a salon software for a while will have a product history, a retail history of what their customers have bought over a period of time. And uh, that's incredibly valuable. And it's so valuable right now. Uh, a lot of people mightn't realize how valuable that is if they've got a couple of years of that data because you can, on Forest at least anyway, send out an email campaign to, your, to all your customers or just the ones who've been in the last year. Um, and it, they'll all have their own link. And in that link will be just 
one or two products, whatever, however many they've bought from you before, and the option to rebuy those. Um, and we're seeing amazing conversion on that because you're sending a product to somebody who's already bought that product. So it's not a, it's a specific product that they would need. And uh, it's a fantastic way to start um, using up that inventory that you might have in your, sh in, your, in your store right now. It's sitting there. You spent a lot of money buying, buying all that stock and nothing's happening. So you need to start selling that and generating some revenue for your business. So I think that's one way to do it. The second way is then to start becoming an e-commerce company. So if you, you know, in the forest system, you'll get your orders will come in just like um, in your salon software, there's a special button, you know, you'll be able to see, you'll be able to mark them as shipped at a shipping price, package them up, send them, um, and then run it through your, you know, as a transaction in your business and it'll automatically deduct that from the stock level. So that's all kind of built into the software. And uh, so it makes it kind of easy for you just to start doing e-commerce. Um, I think a lot of salon owners usually don't, don't have the time to do that because they're busy with their salon, but right now they're not. So this is the time to learn that and iron out those tweaks. And then hopefully you'll be able to continue doing that um, when you reopen because you, you, you know, the, sometimes the fear of doing something for the first time is turns people off. Right. You know that Katie. So this is the kind of opportunity to, to just do that anyway. So that's, that would be um, uh, one big thing that we're doing and we're seeing happen. Um, I didn't, you, you mentioned something else there, which I, I don't know. I don't know about. Do you want to talk about that? The, the online gift cards, the e-commerce. Yeah, there was something else. About? Yeah, I, those two things I covered. But there was was there another one? Or maybe there wasn't. So we can we can we can move on to the yeah, reopening make, if if there isn't. Yeah, making money while you're closed. I think a big hurdle is figuring out fulfillment and being able to yeah. weigh your return on investment for people who um, would buy this product from you, but you're gonna cover. Um, the labor cost, right? So if we have to separate labor from the cost, are we getting a great ROI? Or is our industry going to start demanding that we have fulfillment from our suppliers and there's going to be more of a direct uh, consumer yeah. supply chain there? Um, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, like long-term, yeah, you can imagine most fulfillment will be done probably from dedicated centers for that. Um but I think right now uh, people have the time, so they might as well use that to, they have the customers, the customers have bought these products before, they have the time to put them in a box and post them, so they should, you know what I mean? And uh, so I think right now they, sh they should just be doing it themselves. If they have access to fulfillment, like with you know something like Silent Interactive, that's great, they should do that as well. Um, the stuff I'm talking about is these direct links to people who've bought stuff before, so I think you can, act on that now if that makes sense katie people yeah, have the time yeah. uh, and yep. then later on you know yeah well, let's see what happens you know how quickly these fulfillment services come online um you know so it'll be it, it's it's going to evolve like everything right now everything's evolving at a rapid pace Ab absolutely we may even want to jump on the delivery ch train at some point to yeah. not only package but possibly deliver so yeah um, I think it gives people hope to have something to do a purpose of work. And so I think it's mm -hmm. great. If we move towards, um, you mentioned that you have a thousand for salon users open right now. Yeah. What are you seeing as far as the tools that they're utilizing with technology that are really helpful for them as they go to reopen, especially as you mentioned, being at a lower capacity. Okay. So things that, that are, um, uh, you know, so a couple of things that we just talk about the salon, right? So the salon has to have less people in it. It needs to maintain distances between chairs um, and things like that. It can't have lots of people waiting. Um, so if you can imagine all that. And then it needs stuff like it needs customers to fill out questionnaires and things to confirm, you know, that they haven't been beside somebody who has COVID recently and things like that. So there's a bunch of that kind of stuff. So how do we help with that? So the first one is... Um, you know, having a salon software, it's not just forest is obviously good for contact tracing. So what you will know then is that if somebody happens to get COVID or it turns out that they've had COVID um, you will know what time they were in the salon, uh, what other customers were in the salon at the same time, what staff members they were with between what periods of time, right? So you have a full trace of what happened there. So that really aids with, with contact tracing. So that's one thing why it's really important to, to have a system anyway, whether it's forest or anything. 
Um, then in terms of like uh, rostering and, and making sure that things are scheduled properly, obviously you can roster your, your team in, in shifts. So a lot of what happens and what we're seeing in Germany is that a team of maybe, they might've had eight stylists say in the salon normally, all working at the same time. Um, now what they're doing is, uh, and then maybe they had two other stylists that weren't working that day. So they might've always had about eight stylists working. What they're doing now is that they're doing maybe 10 stylists working that day, but five work the morning from like 7 a.m. until like just after lunch. And then the rest work from two or 3 p.m. all the way till 10 or 11 p.m. at night. So they're opening for much longer hours, um, but they're having more people working during the day, but on shift. So the amount of time available for clients is less. Um, so that's one thing. So they're able to just manage all those rosters and get them organized. Then they're able to allow uh, bookings to happen online. So um, Obviously, if somebody books online, they can fill out terms and conditions when they book. So that's really important as well, right? So you can make sure that they've complied with whatever uh, things when they're booked online. And that's more difficult to do if you're taking all the appointments over the phone. Um, uh, other things is social distancing for staff members. So Forest is available on, a, on an app. So all your stylists would have the information in their pocket. This is really important because you, you know how it works in a salon you've got the appointment screen up there and all the staff are going up and down to the, to the, to the system. Right. And uh, they're looking when their next appointment is or their, or whatever it is like, that's not good. All the staff and their team need to stay meters apart. So basically they're able to look at everything on their phone and therefore not have to interact with each other or all congregate in, in one place. Um, uh, there's a social distancing for staff uh, or for clients as well. So, you can't have wait, people waiting, um, but people could wait in their cars. So um, we have things like uh, you can check in, um, you can either ring, ring into the salon and tell them that you've arrived in the car and they can send you a push notification to come into the salon. You can also very soon at the end of May, you're going to be able to check in yourself on the Forest app for clients, and, uh, or which, which is branded by the salon, by the way. Um, and then that's going to notify the stylist in the salon by push notification. Um, and then they can reply to let the client know when to come in. Okay. So that'll be again, uh, good social distancing measures for their, for their clients. Um, uh, other things would be like keeping customers informed. So we have, um, you know, fully, we have a full email marketing and SMS suite in the, in the system. So you're able to send out all the information that you need to clients in a nice way. We provide all the templates and um, with all the, the, uh, the, the government conditions or, or regulations or advice around how to maintain social distancing and things within your business. And so you can have all that preloaded for you. So you just have to tweak it for your own branding and then get that out there. So that's saving uh, salon owners a lot of time. Um, uh, and I'm just trying to think, yeah, that, and then other things that are, that are um, oh yeah, and then payments as well. So obviously you don't want people handing out cash and everything like that. So everything has got to be on credit card to make sure that there's no cash being passed around. Um, on Forest, we have, you know, we're, we're uh, contactless payments. So you can have your card, uh, you can book online, put your credit card in. And then when you're in the salon, you have your service. You don't have to go up to the till anymore. You can just, you know, the, the, cut, the, the stylist can say bye and just click on the, on their app and immediately charge you. So obviously you're you're uh, avoiding having to to do that. So that that's another way to uh, both reduce the amount of time they're spending in the salon, but also make sure that they're not having to come into contact with anybody. So those are the things that are kind of in place at the moment, um, and we're seeing those really helpful in in uh, in Germany and and in some parts of the U.S. now as well. Um, I tell you what's coming then in a couple of weeks, which will be live by the time people listen to this, um, I think, because this is going at the, at, at the uh, beginning of June. So this stuff will be live by the end of May. So we're, we're introducing the ability to have proper banner messaging on all your online bookings and in your branded mobile app. So basically, that's where you can put all the specific health requirements. It'll pop up before people make a booking. And you can take, you'll be given like standard ones, but you can tailor that then to be specifically what you want to do or what um, maybe in your state or, or city or something, you might have some slightly different um, things going on and you want to, you want to alert your customers to that. Um, we'll also have a thing called restricted online booking. So what that's going to do is, and um, we've been asked for that a lot now in Germany is where they don't want everybody to be able to book online. They actually only want their best clients to get access to the early appointments. 
Um, so how they're doing that is the normal online booking is, uh, is basically full. And then you have a link with a special online booking and you just email that out to certain customers. Um, it seems like a simple thing. It's just not something that never existed before by anywhere in any company because this kind of situation wouldn't have happened before. So, you, so they'll go my top 200 spenders or whatever it is in the marketing and then they'll send them the, the link to online booking and then only those customers will be able to book in. And, um, and once they've all booked in, then they might open it up and they can, they can just click a button on the software to do that. Um, so that's, that's something that is being, we're getting a lot of demand for. Um, so that's going to help with that. I think that's probably something that I'd imagine you'd be the same, Katie, and if, if you were doing that in your own salon, that you, you'd want to open it up for your, your very good clients first, right? I think, yeah, definitely looking at priority and possibly being strategic on gift card redemption rates so that you yes, actually are yeah. able to earn, because uh, your top clients may be the ones out buying all your gift card promotions because they love you and, you know, yeah. um, so looking at the whole picture, but I like all of what Forrest has to offer, especially that ability to have a touchless checkout process. It's so, so yeah, so, but, but just, just to tell, yeah, like just to go on as well, just a few other things there that limit link to that too. So you mentioned the, the gift card thing. So you, you can also, um, we're releasing our online waiting list as well. And basically what that does is it lets you, uh, it lets you, you send out a link to people so they can go onto the waiting list. And then you can also put people onto that as well. Um, and then you are able to use that waiting list to send the online booking link too. So you could maybe have, you say, go here if you want to get on our waiting list because people are obviously inundating the salons with calls and emails. And then you can go through that waiting list and actually remove people from it. So you could put all your gift card purchases. Maybe you wouldn't want them all booking at the same time. So you might put some of them in for that initial run and then put the next batch into the next batch. And that way you just get a couple of, you know, you spread out all those on uh, gift voucher usage. And that's really up to you to be able to do. So it, those tools have kind of been put together to, to let salons manage that now. Um, and then and then also another thing with the e-commerce. The e so we're talking about uh, e-commerce uh, being based on people's, what they bought before. Um, but the other thing that we uh, have coming out um, at the end of March, which again should be live by the time we're doing this, is recommendations linked into the e-commerce. So basically on your phone, uh, the stylist has the forest on their phone. They're, they've checked in the customer. They've maybe just before they pay for the customer, um, they don't need to actually, they can show them a product and instead of actually selling to them right there and there, they can add it as a recommendation on their phone and then the customer pays out and then the customer will receive an email later that day with that product that was recommended and they can just buy it online there and that way they can just get the product sent to them um, delivered through e-commerce rather than having to take them out of the store right then, then and there. So that's actually a pretty cool feature anyway, because it's basically recommendations within the daily use of the, of the salon. So if you've got your e-commerce up and running uh, during the COVID you know, time when you've had this extra time, you're then going to be doing a lot more of these recommendations anyway when you're fully open. And hopefully when you're really fully open and you're back to 100% capacity, um, you could really, like, really boost your e-commerce sales through that, particularly for stylists who aren't great maybe at, or aren't comfortable with you know, selling products and stuff like that. They can just put a recommendation in and let the computer and let the, you know, take it, take it from there. Do you know what I mean? So yep. that's, uh, yeah. So that's um, some of the stuff that uh, should be live by the time we're, do we're having this conversation. Well, I'm excited. I think Forrest is so progressive. I've always been a huge fan, especially all of your marketing components, which you know is my jam. You know what I mean? It's so mm. fun. Um, one of the things I'll be bold enough to say, and, and Ronan does not know I'm going to say this, but Ronan's always said, yes, let's integrate. Meet Your Stylist will have some integrated functionality um, available to connect with Forrest in the coming month that will happen in 2020. And, and I'll be sharing more with all of you about that later. But I think the, the cool part is if you go through Meet Your Stylist Avenue one to connect clients, but you can also use Meet Your Stylist for a, vo a virtual consult. So right now my other idea is like, maybe you have text messaging through Forest, either using Meet Your Stylist virtual consult where people can upload photos right now, which would be really helpful. Or I'm, I'm sure you have a virtual consultation component. Is that through text messaging? 
uh, because I think about coming in, it's been a while. I'm going to need yeah. my outgrowth and balayage. That could be a three hour appointment. Well, gosh, time is yeah. everything with those of those time spots right now. So tell us yeah. a little bit about what Forrest can do right now in helping with more of that virtual consult before people come in. Um, yeah, well, so what people are doing with that is they're just basically booking out uh, consultations um, as appointments on their, on their appointment software. And so they're sending out um, a Zoom link to customers um, or other people are just calling them on WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. Sure. Um, but they're they're doing it through. Um, but they're just booking it in as a as a as an on. This is calling the service in Forest online consultation, and then having that consultation with clients, and then they're yeah. either doing it for free or they're charging for it, depending on the type of service. Obviously, if it's if it's a pre consultation for having a service, then obviously yep. it would be free. Um, but uh, so that's kind of what they're doing. If that makes I think, sense. Yeah. And you know, every software ha you can do it. It may be manual, but it's yeah. possible. And so what I love about Forrest is if you have an idea as a salon owner of like, how can we make this work? Forrest will always get on a Zoom with you or a call, some sort of way to connect with the owner to help them figure it out. Um, tell us a bit about your support because I know that your customer service and the support you offer salons is one of the things that really separates you from most, I, and I'm, I've had experience, most software or tech companies in our industry, they aren't great at responsiveness, um, follow-up, you know, so you are great. Tell us a bit about how you provide that support and customer service for your salons. Uh, what just... We have a lot of people doing it, <laughs> I think is the main way. Um, we've a lot of people with industry experience. So people who've worked in salons, uh, who then, you know, usually worked with Forrest and then they come and they join our company and, and uh, bring that experience of the salon and the software. Um, and then they bring that to bear to helping salon owners figure stuff out um, or help them with answering questions or whatever it is. It, like customer service is really important to like to me and to the company, it's one of our one of our core values. Everybody says that, but you know, I like to think we really mean it. Uh, so one of our values is is an Irish phrase called "service gohintuk," which basically means fantastic, welcoming service. So it's kind of the idea is that Irish welcome, um, which uh, I think it does exist in in mythology in the states as well, right? Um, but there's that idea of that you know everybody is welcome and no matter where someone's coming from, whatever they know, you know, you should be able to help them out. And that's kind of one of our core values. And uh, we don't hire people unless we feel that they have that value kind of within them in their DNA already. So that's, that's how we kind of implement that. And I think it pays off then when you see our customer service ratings that we get every month from all the calls and things that we do with clients. And um, you see that rating being really high. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of how we go about it. Does that kind of answer your question, Katie? Well, you know, we have these episodes, every fifth episode, we're, we're answering beyond the technique questions. They're the top questions that we see salon owners posting in social media groups that they're a part of. And I'll tell you this, I am astonished by how often people are saying, I'm struggling with my software. What software are you all using? And I will tell you that four salon software users are the most anxious and excited to tell people, use this, they're the best, they're the best. Time and time again, you have the most raving fans and it's just a testament to how progressive your company is and that care and welcoming um, service that you provide everybody. I have a fun question that you don't know I'm going to ask you right now. Well, you're going to put me on the spot again. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if the sky is the limit, there's no restrictions or boundaries, anything's possible. What are some of the future dreams that you have for, for a salon software? If the sky was a limit for Forest Sound Software, um, uh, yeah, I. Well, our our goal is kind of to help. Um, we we want to lift the revenue of the entire industry by ten percent over three years. So that was kind of an internal goal that we set ourselves. And uh, so what that means is you might go well one salon make can lift by 10% but that was every single client of Forest lifted by 10%. So some people would lift a lot more than that and some would lift less. But to to achieve that um 
uh, we think would be an amazing thing to do. And the only way to really do it is by the salons have to grow uh, their business, either by doing things like e-commerce or getting customers to spend more when they come into the salon. Um, and if we were able to do that, then the staff in the salon, the stylists, will earn more money as well. And therefore, they're more likely to stay with your business too, therefore giving you that kind of platform to keep building then into the future. And uh, so that's kind of our goal. Like that will be um, pre-COVID, that was kind of our, our big goal. And then with the COVID crisis, you kind of have to put a lot of that on hold because right now we don't know how long this is going to go on for. And you're not going to be able to, you know, to do something like that. Uh, we obviously still try to do it, but it's you're it's almost impossible to do when sounds are shut because it's not, it's not to say they just can't make any money. Right. So you, you can't have a goal like that. So, so right now um, we set ourselves two goals for however long COVID lasts and they are, and they're the goals that all our whole company set. And one of them is that to get money into salon owners hands, even while they're shut. And number two, to make sure that they survive this crisis. Um, so that's all we're focused on right now, everything. So even everything I've been saying to you in this podcast, everything that the, the software developers are doing with you know, developing e-commerce solutions, these solutions for COVID or whatever, everybody is just focused on that. And if we can do that and get the industry out, help get the industry out the other end um, intact, um, that would be a dream right now. I, I would, uh, I'd love for that to happen. Well, I think we're both our values together and why we always, you know, connect and collaborate as companies is that we want to see people survive and then thrive. And one of the things, I don't know if people listening are aware of this, or if you're watching, if you're aware, Forest Salon Software puts out a tremendous amount of education. If there's something new happening, if there's a new way, a better way, a way that's going to help you as a salon business, not just survive, but thrive they have those resources. So Ronan, if you could share, what are some of your online classes that you have readily available for salon owners right now, whether they are a forest salon user or not? So we have, um, so we have stuff available for salon owners, users within the product. So if you go into, if you are a forest user in the product, there's a button called the manager section, uh, which you'll know well, which is where all your inventory and reporting and everything is. If you click on that, there's a button in there called education. And if you click on that education button, it opens up something called Forest Academy, which is um, over 50 classes, uh, online classes that are available on everything from utilizing different parts of the software to doing marketing campaigns, to doing social media uh, campaigns, to, uh, to stuff that's nothing, nothing even got to do with the software directly, like things on finance and things like that. So that's all available for, for all the uh, users of Forest right now. Our trainers are all available too. So you can book a one, uh, if you're a Forest customer, you can book, book a training session with a, with a, a live trainer on any part of the software as well or, or, or the marketing tools. In terms of people that aren't Forest customers, we have, if you go to forest.com forward slash C19, um, we have a dedicated COVID website where we have loads of resources that are free for anybody. So you know, there's templates there to, to send out to your clients. There's things like um, access to webinars on different ways to tackle the crisis and how to make money when you're closed and things like that. So recommend people go to that. Uh, if you're not a forest client, forest.com forward slash C19. Yeah, I will include all of the links in our show notes for everybody to access um, Forest because it's PH, everybody, Forest with a PH. <laughs> so mm. I will have those links for you. And um, Ronan, for people who are like, you know, I have heard a ton of good things about Forest. Now we have time not only to do e-commerce, mm. but we could have time to explore a new software solution for our business how would a salon owner who's listening today go about kind of entering into that new opportunity to learn, hey, maybe I want to switch over. Yeah. Tell us a bit yeah, about it's, it's, what they can it's do. A good, it's a great time to do it because you have time. So um, it's a great time to properly investigate different systems. And it's a fantastic time to do training because you don't have clients that you have to jump out to. Um, so you can get really properly trained up on a new system. Uh, so you, to, if you want to... Have somebody do a demonstration with you, maybe do a 30 minute or an hour Zoom call with you and kind of go through things, answer your questions, see what you have right now, what you're used to, you know, things that you might might be interested in, whether it's more, 
you know, what you're going to do when you reopen kind of related tools that you might be looking for, or if it's general marketing tools to grow your business, you know, do online reputation management, social media marketing from within your system. Um, so yeah, to do that, if you just want to email let's grow at forest.com. So L E T S G R O W at forest.com, just email your details in there. Somebody will reach straight back out to you. Um, if you put your phone number in, they'll give you a call. If you put your email address in, they can email you right back and, and organize that for you. I love it. And I've loved working with Forrest, getting to know you. So genuine. We can be real, raw, unedited with each other. Like it's great. And I highly re recommend everybody listening. If you are looking for a better way, a, a new solution that's very comprehensive, they have it all, definitely you need to go to Let's Grow at Forrest. Um, and I'll include that link in our show notes too. But before we end today, Ronan, what would be any kind of last words of of encouragement for everybody listening? Because as you mentioned, some people will be open, some people still mm. yet will not be. What can we provide for hope for everybody listening today? Um, there was a, so there, there was a story um, that I, that I heard, which which uh, many years ago, which some of you may have heard, which is called the Stockdale Paradox. Have you heard that story before? I have not. Uh, um, so just to kind of recap for people if they haven't heard it, like there's this guy called Jim Stockdale and he was like a general, an admiral in the US Army in the Vietnam War. And he was captured and he was in something called, uh, he was basically in the worst prison camp in Vietnam for about uh, six years, I think it was. And, and eventually he got released. And when he was in that prison, there was, there was hundreds of other prisoners of war as well. And they were tortured regularly. Um, so it was an absolutely horrific situation. And because they were in there so long and being tortured all the time and not being fed properly. And you can imagine the heat and, and everything like that as well. Um, it was quite easy to get to, to lose faith and to believe that you were going to, uh, you're going to die or you weren't going to make it out. And he managed to not only survive himself and come, come out strong mentally out of it, but he, he brought like hundreds of people with him who were in there with him and they kind of looked at him as, as a leader and he kind of helped give them that strength to come through. And uh, a couple of things that he explained, which uh, why, what, what he believed, which I think are things that we can really use right now, even though what we have right now might be bad, but it's nothing compared to what he went through, is... Um, that he always maintained faith that things would pass and that they would make it out, but they never set themselves hope for things that were outside of their control. So what I mean by that is that they never said themselves things like, we'll be out by Christmas. It'll be over by Christmas. So, you know, have faith. It's not like that. He was like, we don't know when this will end, but we know that we'll get out of it. And those two things are very different. Um, people who set them, you know, say like, this will all be sorted by the summer or this will all be sorted by October or this will always be sorted by Christmas. What they're doing to themselves is setting themselves as a, a, an objective that they actually have no control over because we don't control um, this situation right now. Like no one person controls it. And so if we can't, determine when it's going to end when the sounds are going to open or whatever all of that is outside of our control so we can't you know you don't want to set yourself a hope right this is going to end at a certain point because your hopes will get dashed and if your hopes keep getting dashed then you'll lose faith uh, and if you lose faith you know what happens then right so i think that it's um it's really important thing for people to 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 think about and it's certainly helping me through this is that this will pass and we will get through this and we'll get through this stronger at the end, especially if we throw ourselves into, into our business and things that we can do to improve it, because not everyone will be doing that. And if you're doing that and your competitors aren't, you're going to come out stronger at the other end. So you should do that. And that gives you something to do that you know you have control over. But we just don't know when this will end, but to maintain the faith that it will end at some point. So I don't know what you think about that, Katie, but that's... Uh, that's been really helping me. Well, I think it's incredible and it's a great reminder um, that for many of us, we really truly don't have it that bad, you know, and if we're going to be honest, it's, it's still quite good. And mm. there's always um, 
when you have a will, there's a way. When there's a will, mm. there's a way. And our resiliency is so necessary right now. And I think that partnering with great companies like yourself, are, it's like having somebody there for you to help encourage you and keep you in the right mindset. So I love what you shared. And I love that you joined me today, Ronan. It's always so awesome. Thank yeah. you for taking great, time great to be chat, here with us. Chat. Thank you too. Yeah, always a pleasure. And thank you everybody for joining us here week after week. Look, if you love today's conversation and you're a huge fan of Beyond the Technique, we would love it if you take a moment to leave us a five-star review so that more people like you will discover Beyond the Technique. We're here to change the way salon owners are supported in their businesses. So until next time, everybody, have an awesome day and stay strong.